Hi, welcome to Vision Classes. It's a classes for IGCSE, GCSE, AS and A level students, students around the globe. So today we have to discuss syllabus of further mathematics for year or exam 2026-2027, right? So it means next year, next to next year. So we will discuss the topic by topic content of each and every other topic and then we will jump on to the even some of the subtopics as well all right so our regular classes batches are going on suppose if you want to connect with us i have left the description box for further math you will be having four papers are there one is further pure mathematics one paper one right further pure mathematics two paper two mechanics paper three probability statistic paper four so paper one you will be having these are the seven topics are there roots of polynomial equation then rational function summation of series matrices then polar coordinate vector and proof of induction so this is for 75 marks and then paper two also 75 marks this is for as level all right this one for a level and further pure mathematics 2 paper 2 you have a six subtopics are there hyperbolic function then matrices differentiation inter integration complex number and differential equation then further mechanics you will be having six topics are there motion of projectile equilibrium of rigid body circular motion hooks law linear motion under the variable forces momentum fine now paper 4 probability statistic it's a actually you will be having five topics are there so continuous random variable then inference using normal and t distribution all right chi square test non parametric test and probability generating function pgf so now for paper 4 probability statistic you must know the basics of normal distribution part which is from the normal math part fine so this paper 3 and paper 4 you will be having 50 marks paper fine and you can choose any one of them for as level fine along with the paper 1 or paper 2 so paper 1 you can choose either mechanics or probability statistic all right and a level you can choose whatever remaining part fine or for a level you can give all four paper in one go that's also fine all right then yeah this is the structure here you can see the paper one or paper three you can choose or paper one and paper four you can choose for s level fine and a level whatever remaining two uh, you can choose all right that's a simple structure fine then we'll jump on to the straight away content overview so in the content overview you will be having uh, we'll discuss firstly paper one further pure mathematics one you will be having seven sub topics are there so first one roots of polynomial equation so in the roots of polynomial equation we'll be having equations of degree two degree three degree four are there so we have to use the substitution method to solve the equations fine then even reciprocal square simple linear functions are also there then second part rational function so rational function more specifically you have a rational functions are there fine a by b form and we have to draw the graphs using turning point asymptote intersection of graph and with the axis we have to find it out using some of the methods are there so if we understand these basic concept it's a very very easy fine it, it can means fetch the good marks as well from this part then summation and series so summation of series particularly we have a summation of r r square r cube are there fine their relations then nextly sum to n fine even we have to use the partial fraction form to calculate the or to find out the answer fine then nextly matrices 
matrices we have a two by two a three by three matrices are there singular non-singular matrices inverse matrix forms are there fine then nextly even we have to understand the transformation part here more specifically rotation reflection enlargement shear factor fine then we have to understand the invariant line equation all right that's a part are there in the matrices then polar coordinate polar coordinate we have to understand the how to convert the polar to cartesian cartesian to polar form we have to sketch the graphs find polar curves nextly vector the the equation of a plane is there fine then vector product a cross b that's then nextly you need vector equation of line equation of plane of it also there fine then nextly determine whether line lies in the plane then nextly is a parallel to the plane or intersect the plane finding the point of intersection of the plane fine then nextly we have a finding the foot perpendicular to form a point to the plane finding the angle between the line and plane angle between the two planes finding the equation of a line of intersection shortest distance between the two skew lines then equation of for common perpendicular to the two skew lines fine and then last part that is proof or proof by induction in the proof by induction more specifically we have a five subtopics are there one proof by induction for summation then derivative a recurrence relation matrix and divisibility test that's it those are the five topics we have to understand fine then nextly we'll jump on to the paper two further pure mathematics two here we have a hyperbolic function first part we have to understand the identities then graphs right prove the identities all right then use the definition of inverse hyperbolic function as well all right and derive each and every other hyperbolic function that's it and this hyperbolic function it's a kind of means just a introductory part because this hyperbolic function we have to use in other parts as well other part i mean in the derivative in the integration part isn't it so you will get to know uh, when you start understanding all this part then in the matrices matrices you have a consistency non-consistent linear e simultaneous equations are there fine eigenvalue eigenvector equations are there 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrices are there yeah then nextly we have to understand and use the square matrix to satisfy the own characteristic equation all right then next one differentiation differentiation again you have to use the hyperbolic function to find out the differentiation all right and even we have a double derivative part is also there then nextly integration integrate the hyperbolic function recognize integrals of function 1 upon square root of a square x square 1 upon root of x square plus a square forms are there and even we have to understand the integral associated with function using trigonometry hyperbolic substitution fine then nextly even in the spot we have to understand the area under the curve fine then nextly even we have to understand the arc length and surface area of the revolution part we have to understand under the integration then fifth part that's a complex number complex number you have a de Moivre's theorem and de Moivre's theorem for positive negative rational component trigonometric ratios of multiple angle then you have to express the powers of sine theta cos theta finding the summation all right and finding and using the n term of unity we have to understand in the complex number part then last part that's a differential equation it's a depend upon differentiation and integration part okay then we have further mechanics part further mechanics part you will be having motion or projectile projectile motion part are there you have to find out vertical horizontal equations are there 
conditions are there fine finding the angle magnitude direction time taken to travel greatest height we have to use and derive the cartesian equation of trajectory of motion then nextly equilibrium of rigid body so here equilibrium of rigid body we have to understand the effect of gravity on the rigid body find position of center of mass of uniform body all right so these parts are there then principles that we have to use to find out the equilibrium under the action of coplanar forces we have different different equations are there we have to solve them to find out the unknown values all right then nextly circular motion the concept of angular speed understand the acceleration of particle moving in the circle right problem which can be modeled by the motion of particle using moving in the horizontal circle with the constant speed then you have a hooke's law hooke's law as a model relating to the forces in elastic spring or spring to the extension or the compression fine understand the terms term modulus of elasticity okay and we have to understand the formula relating to the elastic potential energy stored in the spring or spring fine so here more specifically proofs of formula not required at all all right then nextly linear motion under the variable forces are there okay here again you have to use integration derivation part fine so the last part momentum in the momentum you have a coefficient of restitution and momentum equations are there elastic non elastic moments uh, momentum sorry so those part you have to understand the equation that's it and the further mechanics part very interesting it gives the deeper understanding of physics even all right so if you have a very interest or good interest in physics then it will be really helpful for the further mechanics as well fine then nextly we have a probability statistic part paper 4 so first part is continuous random variable we have a general uh, equations of e of g of x right is equal to f integration of f of g, uh, x times g of x dx so then which is probability density function here fine then we have to understand the relation between pdf and cdf all right so use the cumulative distribution functions these are the things are there in the continuous random variable then inference using normal and t distribution so here you have to use the hypothesis testing concepts okay then two sample t test paired sample t test a test using normal distribution this is very interesting because you have to apply the hypothesis testing for a different different condition and draw the conclusion and you will be having certain marks are allocated for your right conclusion as well fine so conclusion in this part very important then nextly chi square testing for appropriate degree of freedom then appropriate degree of freedom for independence in the contingency table okay so we have to use this chi square test for various degree of freedom all right then non parametric test so this is also again very interesting non parametric test part because we have a sign test wilcoxon sign the rank test wilcoxon sum test okay so again we have to use this testing to draw the certain conclusion as well even you have a wilcoxon match to pair sign the rank test and wilcoxon rank sum test and then last part is probability generating function so concept of probability generating function we have to understand then construct and use the pgf for distribution all right so use the formula to calculate the mean and variance of a given probability distribution so in all of this means topic you have to use the normal distribution part from the normal math here and there so be good with these normal distribution part and even concepts of normal math part fine and as far as changes are concerned if you look at the previous one and this one there are 
uh, hardly any changes okay or i would say no any major changes a, a, as such fine so be focused uh, be motivated work on continuously and if you are looking for classes fine continuously uh, engaging with the further math part then we are here to help you to fetch the grades this a star or a rates actually really helpful for getting into the college admission fine that's it enjoy the math thank you